Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Welcome back to our fifth week of our Praise Town Children's Ministry Sunday School Online. It's great to see you and it's great to have you back. Your Praise Town teachers are still praying for you and your family to have a safe summer. So I hope you're keeping cool. I am. <laughs> Wait a second. What's that? What's that noise? Do you hear it? It sounds like footsteps. And heavy breathing. Who's there? Who's there? I'm not playing. Come on out. It was just my dog, Toby. <laughs> he was just making all that noise. Bye, Toby. I don't know why I was so scared. How about you? Have you ever been scared? Are you afraid? Don't you worry. We'll get through this together, okay? So, never fear. Jesus is here. And he will take care of your fear, even in the midst of a storm. help you understand how much Jesus cares for you. Our story comes from Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 41. Let's read it together, okay? And if you don't know how to read yet, just listen. Here we go. That evening, Jesus said to his followers, come with me across the lake. He and the followers left the people there. They went in the boat that Jesus was already sitting in. There were also other boats with them. A very strong wind came up on the lake. The waves began coming over the sides and into the boat. It was almost full of water. Jesus was at the back of the boat, sleeping with his head on a pillow. 
the followers went to him and woke him. They said, teacher, do you care about us? We will drown. Jesus stood up and commanded the wind and the waves to stop. He said, quiet, be still. Then the wind stopped and the lake became calm. Jesus said to his followers, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The followers were very afraid and asked each other, what kind of man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. this question he said why are you still afraid do you still have no faith right let's define faith faith means being sure of the thing you hope for and faith means knowing that something is real even though you do not see it that's from Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 and you need to memorize that scripture okay that's your memory verse for the whole week Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now Jesus was asking the, his followers this because he wanted them to know that he is their sure thing he was on the boat with them there would be no body that would go down with the boat because Jesus was there on the boat with them there was no way that that boat was going to go under why because jesus had to get on the cross to die for our sins so jesus wanted the disciples and his followers to know that he was their sure thing and they should not worry that anything would have happened on the boat because he was with them now it's funny how his followers was even more terrified and even more afraid because they said to each other, who is this man? Who is this man who even the waves and the wind have to obey him? <sighs> Jesus is the son of God. That's who he is. And you want to know why the wind and the wave had to obey him? Because God created the wind and the waves. The wind and the waves had to obey Jesus. So know this, that Jesus is our sure thing. He's on the boat with us. No matter how, what the wind and the wave and whatever you see, 
during this pandemic, during this the riots, during this uncertainty of what's going on in the world, know that Jesus is on the boat with you and he is your sure thing. Never fear, Jesus calms the storms of your life. And it is so funny how even though they were in the boat, they were still afraid. Well, just as Jesus told the wind and the waves to be quiet and be still, he could do the same to the voices that are in your head telling you to be afraid. So, give your worries to Jesus and let him calm the storms of your life. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you that you are in the boat with us, Lord, and that you care for us, and that even though there's winds and waves that we see, that we know that your voice could tell these winds and waves to be quiet and be still. So we give up our fear, Lord. We give you your, our fears, and we give you everything that is making us fearful, and we thank you. Lord God, that you care about us and that your voice is more powerful than any wind or wave. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, this is the end of our lesson. I just have to remind you, your scripture verse and memory verse is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And if you memorize it, the day that we see each other again in person, if you tell me the scripture verse, You'll get 10 points, okay, and a prize. And also, I have attached for you a digital coloring page that you could color online. So I'm Miss Nancy, and I will see you next time. Bye.